Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalates trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang sa anak ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami. Si J. C. Bautista. Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Yep. Friday na namang muli. Friday nga ba? Friday nga, right? <laughs> talaga kasi talaga lately. Parang nawawala ako sa sarili ko sa mga days, right? 9, 10, Thursday. Today is June 11, Friday, okay? At bukas, Independence Day, di ba? But yeah, happy Friday everyone. At uh, kamusta yung linggo nyo, no? How, is, how has the week been for everyone? Well, sa akin, of course, as in any day, given day, uh, most of the time, same old, same old, pero okay. Uh, for me to beat the boredom, I actually, of course, do so many other things in between what I do regularly uh, to keep this, uh, no, the interest and to keep the excitement going in my life. Talaga, hindi ako pwede kasi gumawa ng routine things lang na pareho araw-araw, araw na yun lang all day. That's why I'm, a, I'm really a multitasking queen. But anyway, um, hello there, Tita Agnes. Good morning, Tita Agnes. Good morning, Tita Pri. So, nakikinig at nanonood din po si Tita Pri. Good morning, JM. Good morning sa Maniago family. Kung nandiyan sila, Mitch. Hello, Mitch and JJ. Uh, Maniago. And family, si Jibin. Nandiyan si Layla. Layla. Uh, at saka, uh, sino pa? Uh, at ang mga lakap family, of course. Uh, and my Bautista family. And... Uh, Manila and in Australia and in America and of course my Celestina family to my mom's side. Hello sa inyong lahat at of course sa ating mga na tagapagtaguyod at mga kaibigan na sumasama sa atin sa pang-araw-araw na ating programa na Buhay Online. Um, uh, of course it's we're already June, okay? It's already half of this new year. And it's really, really pa rin talaga, very surreal, masyadong unbelievable pa rin talaga kung paano kabilis oh, dumadaan ng mga araw. But of course, we're still in the pandemic. Uh, napapabilis na uh, at least ang, ang pag-vaccinate, no? Para makapag, ano tayo, mag, ano to, achieve ng herd community sa Metro Manila. Okay na eh. Marami nang nabakunahan. And I heard from the news na dumating pa ang ilang milyon na Pfizer vaccine sa country natin as of yesterday. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, those who message and nag-email ng mga questions saka ng mga good, uh, good um, remarks and dun sa mga nag-iiwan din sa, sa YouTube because we already are on YouTube. The Broad Streamcast Communications team, we have a channel and uh, you can view past episodes of Buhay Online and our other shows dun po sa YouTube. Because immediately after mag, mag live stream broadcast po tayo, ay nagmang-migrate na sa YouTube ang ating mga programa. 
Okay. So all week uh, I was on the subject of the importance of marketing communication sa, sa negosyo. Okay. Mag recap tayo, right? Uh, very important, right? Because there's, there's, there's the importance of effective, of effective communication sa marketing, like sinabi ko, no? Uh, when advertising a product, a service, or a support system, you want to be seen, okay? You want to be seen. So, saan tayo nakikita, right? Yun nga, minensyon natin, traditional marketing against this new way of marketing, which is online, right? Uh, but of course, you know, it's it all boils down to you have to be seen. Okay, you have to be known. Kailangan ka makilala produkto mo ang yung services or ang yung brand. Okay, you wanna be picked, and of course, you wanna be the best, right? That's why effective communication in any form and industry, for example, is key for a successful campaign, right? Yung kagaya kaya it goes back to this premise na sinabi ko. Now, it's not what you say, it is how you say it. So it's how you present yourself, how you market yourself, how you uh, make your brand known, whether you're a personality, uh, a product, a service, right? It's a matter of uh, effective communication, right? How true, how true is this saying, a picture is worth a thousand words or a picture paints a thousand words if not for marketing communications, right? So let's go back to what we talked about, okay? You heard these phrases, well, these phrases are known for this reason, okay? So guys, ang sinasabi natin, first impressions count, okay? Repaso tayo. Kasi nga sa TV, sa billboard, sa pag ads you have a limited time, di ba? You have very limited time in a TV advertisement before you lose someone to the next one, yung attention nila maigsin mo lang ma, ma, makukuha. So, there's only so much information you can put on a poster or a leaflet or even a billboard, right, or an ad. First impressions count and they need to be pretty impressive to catch the attention of the content hungry, always connected digital world of the 21st century society, okay? It has been suggested, okay, in several uh, uh, articles across the internet that we now have an attention span shorter than a goldfish. Ito to naman kasi. That's a dami na nag-proliferate. Ang dami-dami pwedeng makuhang information or makuhang split second na lang or yung, ma yung masascan ng mata mo. Lalo na sa internet. Kaya nga, ang dami yung mga nag intrude na mga ads, right? Sa Facebook mo, sa email mo. Pag nag-google ka, yung Google o yung page na binabasa mo, meron din mga ads. Because, you know, you need to get your messages out there right away, build a good reputation, and become the go-to sa industry na yun. Ikaw ang kailangan nilang mapili. Ikaw ang kailangan nilang puntahan. Ikaw ang kailangan nilang bilhin. Kailangan gamitin na servisyo. Diba? Marketing strategies need to be effective to the point and provide a quick solution, di ba? Kaya nga, pag wala, pag wala ka naman masyadong alam sa sa marketing communications, mag-outsource ka ng marketing mo. Kumuha ka ng marketing arm. Kumuha ka ng consultant, right? If you have little knowledge in this area. There are many experts out there who can help you. Present company included, yung aming kampanya, company, Media Whiteboard Management Inc. Of course, we do marketing communication projects, aside from training projects, uh, academic training, tutorials, uh, training English teachers to be better English teachers online. Meron po kami programa dyan, iba't iba. And before the pandemic, we would, we would go to corporations and teach English mastery and corporate communications and also uh, business ethics. But now we can conduct all that via Zoom, all right? Or via Google Teams or via like marami na pong platform. Pati yung teaching, okay? Uh, ang dream ko nga is to have our, the Philippines, for the Philippines to have its own ESL online school, di ba? Kasi ang may-ari lahat halos ng mga online schools na yun, ang hinahay naman Pilipino ay ano? Chinese, Korean, Japanese, right? Ang daming online schools, lalo na ng Chinese kasi... 30 million people nag-aaral ng English, right? Okay, eh, hindi wala silang teachers na sila kumukuha sa atin, right? 
At tapos ang mura-mura ng sweldo, dapat lang tayo, you know, la, la, la. ano pa namin yan, project namin yan ni, ni Miss Faith, talaga na, na unknown ko pa rin, talaga in my mind and forever in my heart, na dapat meron Filipino online English school, right? Because really, it makes sense naman. So they're hiring thousands of Filipinos to be English teachers. Tapos ang bayad, bariya. As opposed to yung mga native speaker or Americans na hindi naman teacher yung iba, basta lang marunong mag-English. Which is saying na nga, uh, we have a training program for legit okay, online English teachers. Kasi rin yun, yung mga iba pumapayag, so sorry, I don't need to to bash anyone, but ang mura ng sweldo, compare nyo na lang ha, 195 pesos pa an hour, meron mo 100 pesos an hour, 110 pesos an hour to teach online English. And those are two classes of 25 minutes in that hour. Just me, yo, wala pang 150 pesos. Kung, kung makakuha ka nga ng 200 pesos an hour binabayad sa'yo, swerte ka na eh. Tapos, pero pag ano ka, American ka, ang bayad sa'yo, triple nun, or more, or 500 an hour, which is actually cheap sa standard pa rin ng mundo because online English teachers get paid between $10 to $22 an hour. That's dollars. Translated to pesos, that's more than 1,000 pesos, ba? Tapos ang binabayad sa atin, ganun lang. Anyway, ibang topic yan. Na, na, ano na ako tuloy, na carry away ko basta kasi pinag-uusapan yung online learning at ing, lalo na specifically ESL, I'm so ano to that, I get so uh, fired up wired with that because we have this thing as ad, nagiging advocacy na nga talaga eh magpapapartilist na nga ako talaga ng ESL teachers, di ba Miss Faith? But anyway, okay, so going back to effective communication, alright, alright, alright okay Kung hindi niya alam yung realm na yan, mag-hire kayo, mag-outsource kayo. Kasi, kasi without effective communication, you risk not being trusted or valued by your audience and even coming across spammy o kaya irrelevant or just plain useless, okay? Kasi you need to ensure you are communicating to them in the right way, di ba? Ano bang sinasabi niyo sa message niyo, sa, sa advertisements niyo, sa ads niyo na pinapagkagasos na niyo? What is your product or service, of course? Who are your target audience, right? What is their demographic? Anong profiling nila, right? What problems need to be to be solved or addressed? O anong pangangailangan ang needs nila na kaya niyong i-meet, right? There are just one, these are just examples of the kinds of questions that you, the kind of questions you need to be asking yourself at the beginning bago mo gawin yung, yung marketing, strat, marketing strategy, right? Um, okay, you isipin nyo na lang that you only have 7 seconds to make a strong first impression, right? 7 seconds kunyari yung front ng flyer nyo it needs to be kung may flyer ko yung panapakita kailangan high quality, clear, tsaka catchy yung lines. Grab the reader's attention quickly or you've lost them for good diba? By creating this kind of communication, you can regain control and make people feel na importante sila, di ba? In this, in turn, yung trust nila makukuha mo, okay? So, what makes communication effective, okay? In a nutshell kasi, ang communication that speaks the language of your target audience matters. That's why dapat alamin mo, kilalanin mo ang iyong audience, right? Bago ka mag-communicate sa kanila, dapat alam mo kung paano ka makikipag-communicate, anong approach ang gagamitin mo, anong lingo, anong language, Anong copy, right? Anong, anong classing attack? Anong classing theme? Because to know the language of your target audience, you can provide a solution, right? And you can connect with them. And this is going to be effective, right? Written and oral communication needs to be presented differently to ensure you are maximizing the potential of each form of communication, right? Ang gaya niyan, yung written communication, yung mga copy, mga copywriter dyan, yung mga tagline na, na ibinabato nyo, whether it's billboard, radio, TV ads, right? Or social media ads, or digital ads. Dapat ang written communication ay short and snappy. Huwag masyadong wordy na kailangan pa ng brain surgeon para i-figure out kung ano bang message sinasabi nito, right? Dapat clear and colorful, vivid, 
So, parang may vivid imagination. <laughs> Provide a simple solution to 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 your clients or audiences concern. Easily identifiable information points. Tama. Yung mga, mga binibigyan yung information na importante. Yung highlight nyo, right? Use boxes and lines to split up blocks information. Don't overcomplicate it. Talk to them personally. Diba? Para ka nakikipag-usap na ano. And, and nowadays, you can do that. Kasi interactive na nga yung marketing, right? As opposed to the traditional ones, like we mentioned yesterday. And I'm mentioning again now, right? TV advertising has a chance to speak to the audience in a different way naman. It needs to, of course, ang TV ads, engage, okay? Persuade, pick the interest ng nakik- uh, ng uh, ng nagnanonood, maging unique siya entertaining, provide useful information and solution, of course. Pero balik din doon sa be short and simple. Because you only have 15 seconds of fame. 50 seconds or 30 seconds, there, matagal na yun, right? So you gotta maximize, you gotta make the most of it and be interesting to your viewer. Otherwise, lilipat ang channel. Pag di, kaya na naman yung corny commercial. Pero sometimes corny works, right? Yung mga nakakaasar na commercial, yun ang naaalala mo. Yung napakabaduy na, na, na commercial ng toyo at patis na ewan. You know, yan ang naaalala mo, right? The method of communication you choose is important. You want to make sure you're using the right form of communication for your target audience, right? You think that the advertisements na mga TV would be more effective kesa written communication, right? Well, hindi naman sa totoo lang. Hindi naman. Surely everyone has a TV in the house, okay? Pero nowadays, di ba? Nabawasan na yung bilang ng nanonood ng TV. I mean, as in physical nanonood ng TV, sarap ng TV. Kasi bakit? You can watch live stream or even uh, your programs online as long as you have data on your phones. You can you can watch it sa tablet. You can watch it sa desktop. Kaya kumunti na yung nanonood ng talagang TV, right? While TV advertising, of course, has a wide reach, how many TV advertisements do you sit through? Diba? Do you even watch daytime TV? Nananood ka pa ba ng teleserye sa tanghali? Eh, kung nagtatrabaho ka, wala kang panahon, right? So, ang nakakanood ka ng mga show sa break time mo sa trabaho, sa cellphone mo, right? Okay? So, do you watch daytime TV dramas? Or nowadays, nanonood ka ng Netflix? ba? Parang mas marami nanonood ng Netflix na ata, right? So, a certain degree of the population, the older people, of course, still watch TV and there's teleseries on TV, right? According to the Direct Marketing Association research, DMA, 62% of people take no notice of TV ads by muting or changing the channel. Totoo yan, totoo yan. Okay? Sabi pa ng DMA, it suggested that 79% of recipients either keep or pass mga binibigay sa kanilang mga flyers. 79% either keep or pass it. Okay? So, anong kinds of information ang mabuti? What form of communication is best? Traditional or non-traditional? Well, they can go hand in hand, like I said. But what's important is that you are using, okay, the right form of communication, right? You need to understand your target market and where you can find them, Okay? Napakadami kasi different advertising spaces available from train stations to billboards to TV radio, uh, mga flyering, mag brochure ka, mag brochures, gumagawa ng brochure sa poster. Ay, pero nowadays, yung mga deck or yung mga portfolio is all virtual na, eh, no? It's going to be, to be hard to stand out from your competitors kasi pag wala kang gawing pagmamarket ng sarili mo. Hindi pwedeng dumating sa iyo yung customers na hindi mo iniimbita. Right? Una hindi mo ini-inform kung sino ka. Diba? So, huwag ka umasa sa ganun na walk-ins or, or yeah. When you have gathered the specifics of your target audience, okay, it will be much easier to know where and how you need to spend your marketing budget. Because it's going to be really hard for any business, big or small. Diba? Pero dapat ka talaga magkaroon ng, ng uh, set your standards and goals and your targets, okay, for yourself. 
Okay? Kasi nga, itong marketing communication, hindi rin man madali, right? Because kailangan mong kilalanin yung, yung audience mo at ang iyong mga customers. Like I said, when you have gathered enough, pag alam mo na yung target audience mo, it will be much easier to know and how you will apportion your budget to uh, put it into marketing. No? It may sound incorrect at first, pero that's, it's just not realistic to target lahat ng tao sa buong mundo. By narrowing your target audience down into smaller niches, you can build an affordable, efficient, and effective way to reach potential clients and generate more business. Okay? In order to find your target base, you need our uh, target audience. You need to look at the following: yung customer database niyo, okay? Yung competition tignan mo rin kung paano how he's faring, all right? Or ang ginagamit niyang tactics or strats, okay? Through his or her ads, okay? Your product service, a demographic to start, which is age, location, gender, home education, marital, female status, occupation, and ethnic ground. Alamin mo yan, profiling yan. Tapos the psychological the psychographics of your target audience, which is personality, attitudes, value, interests, hobbies, at lifestyle and behavior, okay? So, pa, sa, sa pagtingin natin sa mga nabanggit ko, you're able to paint a detailed picture of how your product or service will fit into your customer's lifestyle. In other words, ikakustomize mo yan, pwede, right? Kasi, your product, uh, you have to make sure that the product fits the customer's lifestyle, what solution we, we will be providing, how and when they will be using the product, and what appeals to them, what media platforms they use, and so on, okay? So you want to use this information to understand how your customers think and what makes them tick, okay? So not so much yung technicals ng content, all right? Okay, so now... As I said yesterday, I'm going to talk about uh, more about internet marketing. And ang uh, isa dito sa internet marketing is email. Alright? Yung email blast na tinatawag. Right? Email blast. Part of your marketing, marketing services would be emailing to your potential customers or your existing database and, uh, and new ones. Right? Okay? Get in, uh, get in touch with your audience. This is one of the things and ways how to get in touch with your audience, okay? One of the oldest techniques in the modern business industry is getting in touch regularly with your customers through an email marketing service, all right? One of the oldest successful techniques has been used over the years by marketing strategies, okay? Strategists, sorry. The new marketers still know very little about it, okay? So email marketing services to reach 35,000 email subscribers, okay? You know, you need email to, e, you need an email marketing service to do that. Then hindi mo yan kaya gawin on your own or in-house, okay? Anong benefits ng email marketing? If you are just starting your online business, biglang dumalim ha? Uulan na naman. <laughs> Using email marketing services to reach out to your audience should be on your priority. Kasi, kung, oh nga, kung nasa online ka talaga. Kasi, you, you inform them in various ways through the social media and through email, right? Okay? So, this should be on your priority kung naka-online naka business kayo. You send a business email letter to your audience and share information about your products and services sa kanila, di ba? Para pag binuksan nila yung email mo at pinasa nila, mas malalo pa nilang gusto mag magkaroon ng more knowledge about your product, uh, ba? And it will reach out to you, ba? Is, is there also a chance that they might share it, you know, because of natuwa sila, baka forward nila yan sa kanila mga kaibigan, sa interested friends. Given that the content kasi is worth reading and sharing, that is why effective communication is important, right? We have to make sure, right, na magandang balita or interesting balita or, or, um, Catchy yung ating messages, okay? Choosing the right email newsletter service is, equ is equally important for your business. While there are many such of these services online, okay? But you have to look for the one. You have, mar maraming, maraming nag-offer nag, uh, niyan, servisyo na yan, pero 
you have to look for the one that caters to your requirements and of course, una -una, sa budget mo, right? Okay, very good. Okay, so how does email mark, email uh, newsletter services work? Okay. Uh, yun nga, kasi hindi mo kayang gawin on your own, may, pero may database ka, itong company na ito na ang mag, mag, mag email blast para sa iyo, or may mga software dyan. Okay? Okay, so, next topic, alright. Uh, e email distribution. Eh, ito rin pa. Because, of course, yung mga press conferences, okay, na, na ginagawa in the flesh or in person, nagagawa na rin yan through Zoom through uh, the internet. Kasi nga, di ba, in, 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 pag-add and promo, pag add and promotions mo ng, ng product mo, services, or goods and services mo, or uh, ikaw as an individual, as a professional, di ba, nagpapapress nagpapa conference, di ba, o pag-launch din ng mga movies, hindi lang yung pang-movies ang press con, para rin yan sa mga companies, like yung mga technology firms, pag-launch ng bagong telepono, ng Samsung, ng 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 Huawei magpapapress ko ngayon yun pwede na lahat yun virtually pero nung araw kasi syempre magpapadala ka rin ng mga press release kasi yung mag-attend ng ano mo kailangan nila ng, ng material to chew on right so meron din mga press release distribution services okay pero nowadays kaya mo na yan gawin virtually kasi one of the conventional advertising strategies pa kasi has been modernized because you know yung mga press con nga nagagawa na online. So, pag hire ka ngayon ng company, kung hindi mo yan gawin, such as ours, ang Media White Point Management, we conduct press conferences, we make sure that yung attendance ng, ng media ay 101%, right? Para i-introduce ang produkto nyo, ang service nyo sa madlang people, right? So, importante pa lang ng mga press con. Pero nagagawa yan, nowadays virtually na rin, okay? So, if you're looking for greater exposure for your business, consider doing online press conferences nowadays. Because online PR agency, kasi we do PR too, our company, right? I'm a publicist, right? So, what is the benefit of having press conferences? Well, you reach a bigger audience because yung mga iniimbita mong media, of course, ay lalagay nila yan sa kanilang, kanilang mga jario or kanilang mga blogs or kanilang mga online shows nowadays at uh, i-endorse nila yung iyong produkto na pinapresscon or, or, or they will write about it and put it in their sites, right? Ang benefits, web traffic, okay? Greater outreach to a new audience. Of course, generally or ultimately, Increased sales and revenue. Tsaka yun lang, magkakaroon ka ng SEO backlinks or yung, yung uh, pag-optimize mo -optim ngayon yung, yung website mo or yung post mo. Money back guaranteed services. Okay? Kasi pag walang resulta naman, hindi ka babayaran ng ano, taong nag-hire ng PR mo. <laughs> but anyway, so there. That's the importance of having press, press conferences naman din online. Kasama yan sa effective my online marketing right so uh, we also talked about the difference between promotion and advertising diba? Diba? kasi most people are under the impression pa rin that ang advertising tsaka yung PR tsaka promotion is the same are they the same nga ba diba uh, hmm. For many small businesses kasi, advertising and promotion kasi, na nagagawa together, right? The same department carries out both functions. Eh, it's understandable naman yun, maliit eh, startup company, right? Both advertising and promotion campaigns usually kasi share the same budget or are given the same amount. Often, yung same manager also oversees the results for both. Kung Marcom manager, uh, Marcom specialist ka, ay ko supervisor niya ng both fields whether it's traditional marketing uh, or advertising pala or yung, yung campaign mo or promo lang PR in actuality kasi may difference ang advertising sa promotion okay understanding these two differences 
at, at kung kaya lang mo sila pwedeng gamit, gamitin, even effectively together, ayun ang dapat mong ipinpoint sa sarili mo. Okay? O sige, ulitin natin, repaso, what is advertising? First of all, we need to settle sa the definition. Adver ads or, or advertisements are controlled. And at ang ads ay of course lalabas yan sa jaryo, lalabas yan sa online jaryo, lalabas yan sa magazine. Kasi bayad, alright? Bayad meaning there are advertising rates, right? You can call the ad, the ad, develop, uh, ad and promo department of any newspaper, uh, broadsheet or printed material or even billboards. And they have rates because they charge, right? At talagang mahal yan, precise ng ad mo, kung ano, kung half page, full page, sobra. It's like uh, two, 250,000 pesos for a full uh, half page ba? A full page ng araw, hindi ko na alam ngayon, right? Pero maliit, yung maliliit nga ng business card, kaliit is, uh, ano eh, thousands na yun para mo maipost eh. Ano pa kaya yung billboard? Ano pa kaya yung full page colored, six color ad, right? So, there, there are... The advertisements are paid, so whether and whether they like it or not, they have to release your 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 promo, right? Kasi binayaran mo, as opposed to PR and and you know promotions, PR, lalo na PR per se, gratis yan. Kasi ang develop ang 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 naglalakad para sa yon. What what you have going for you there sa pag pro pag PR is your good standing, your good reputation your good relationship with the media because parang takikipaki ang PR. You know, you don't, you are not paying the newspapers or the broadsheets to to come out with your article. But, because some people attended ng press con mo dyan sa mga from these publications and you, you have established goodwill with them as a person, as people, ilalabas nila ngayon yun sa kanilang mga sa sariling column or mga blogs or blogs, right? Pero syempre, ikaw, ang PR, ang PR mo kasi, yun nga, kaya good PR ka kasi nakakapagparating ka ng, ng attend ng mga media at nasusulat pa nila about it. Of course, I will not lie and say libre lahat yun. Bin, bin, ang gusto naman ng media, binibigyan mo sila ng regalo, whatever token, or pag may theme yung press con mo, yung giveaways, dapat ganun tsaka papakain mo sila na masarap sa magandang venue, right? Yun naman ang importante sa kanila. At, at may ina-acknowledge nyo na kailangan natin sila no? to make our campaigns effective, right? And productive, okay? So, there are three, uh, there are different types ng ano, advertising, okay? Siyempre, there's digital advertising, di ba? Digital advertising, There's digital advertising that is actually, of course, deals with internet-based media, okay? Such as social media. More traditional forms involve all older forms of media, such as print, radio, and TV. Yan na yung uh, traditional media prior to having digital and social media marketing. Across all these different forms, certain characteristics actually are pareho pa rin. Kahit na mayroong malaking diferensya ang digital advertising at traditional advertising, meron silang mga pareho, right? Okay, yung company or yung client mo, okay, controls the content, graphics, and design, okay? It also pays the media source to show the advertisement, okay? The goal of all forms is the same. Anong end result na gusto natin ma-achieve? to influence the target audience to take some action, right? Yun naman to rin, call to action is so important, okay? This means buying the product or service your company offers, right? Okay, kwas lang sandali. <laughs> Hello for everyone who's watching. Thank you so much for joining us today here at Buhay Online. We're still on the subject of uh, effective marketing, uh, specifically online marketing. And... Uh, Okay, and of course, we're trying to talk about effective communication. So, yun. So, the goal of all forms is of advertisement, whether it's online or traditional, is the same. Ang, ang, ang kanila pa goal ay pareho. 
to influence the target audience to take some action. It means you buying the product, a call to action for them to acquire your services, call for action for them to, to be in your class, attend your seminars, right? This means buying the product or service your company offers. Advertising can be done in-house, of course, to be told. And nowadays, right, pwede na kasi rin virtual kahit hindi ka mag-house to ha, mag, ano, magpunta sa office, right? Because advertising na lang nga can be done in-house. However, some companies choose to use ad agencies. Although, sinabi ko na nga earlier, humina na no, medyo ang negosyo ng mga ahensya kasi yung mga influencers na kinukuha nila or endorsers, nakakontact na yan diretsyo ng consumers, ng audience. Talaga eh, we're not naman protected anymore that way. Everybody is a free country to get information and customers, right? While advertising can be done in-house, however, some companies choose to use ad agencies. Yan na nga yun. Okay? But, you know, you don't have to use an agency kung kaya mo mong freelance or to get different suppliers, right? More of that next time naman na subject matter, okay? Advertising can be done in-house. However, some companies choose to use ad agencies na. An ad agency kasi, can hone a company's targeted advertising efforts. Tsaka season yung mga yan, right? This can maximize the reach of your campaign. Okay? So next we go to, pinag-usapan natin, digital advertising. You know? It is a form of advertising that uses the internet to improve, analyze, track, manage, and research online campaigns. Wow, okay? Traditional offline advertising is this one. This is traditional offline understanding. Okay. Eat now at Hooters. Traditional yan. Okay. Nakikita nyo na yung mga ganyang klase. Ito naman yung non-trad. Okay. Yan. Yung nang i-intrude ng mga ads. So habang nag- Habang nag-google ka ng something, nag-research ka, meron mga lumalakad-lakad minsan sa screen, minsan nagpa-pop up na lang eh. Those are the ads that are dying to belong to some place, right? Oops. Let me just fix my graphics because I'm always fooling around with these graphics na nabubura ko yung sarili ko on the screen. Tapos hindi ko na maibalik. Pero ngayon alam ko na. Very good. Okay? So na... Let's continue. The modern age offers a staggering number of techniques and strategies. Traditional offline in, in ads remain common these days. Okay? So, marami pa rin ang nag, uh, na gumagamit ng traditional ways, right? These offline methods will continue to be an important part of marketing campaigns for different reasons, okay? Hello there. Good morning, Sir, 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 Baisa. Thank you for sa pagsilip niyo po sa ating programa. I am still talking about uh, effective marketing. I'm still talking about the importance of marketing communication sa negosyo, specifically online marketing. And uh, pero we were, I'm giving an overview kasi wrap up today. So uh, I was just talking about traditional marketing, uh, traditional ads. Ayun nga, ang, ano ang traditional ads? Print ads, magazine, TV, radio, newspaper, right? Radio spots and billboards. Eh, ano ang digital advertising? Digital advertising as are the things that you see, like I just showed you, uh, uh, na nag na, nag intrude sa web, so Facebook nyo, it's intruding your cell phones. Those are the little ads that keep popping up, di ba? Even ngayon, di ka na makapag hindi ka lang makapagpunta sa Facebook page mo na walang nang Google sa'yo around you na iba-ibang lumalabas na pop-up messages or yung uh, sa side ng, ng Facebook mo, ang dami mo doon pwedeng basahin at tignan na nagbebenta or nagbibigay ng information. Magulo, magulo. It's a cluttered world rin ang digital advertising. But it's effective, right? Because nga, right? Because sabi niya, hello, Nang, sabi ni, Mr. ni Sir Selby, sa happy weekend to all our viewers. Yes, and, and dyan, yung mga Lakaf family from Pampanga, yung mga Bautista family ko from Manila, uh, uh, America, Australia, and Europe, yung mga Celestino family ko 
to mommy's side, okay? But uh, yes, it's a weekend. It's Friday, and uh, and for me, there's really not much of a difference. Yung weekend, because Monday to sa- Sunday, I'm online. My buhay is online. My work, my business is online. That's why I'm practically online 24/7. Which is yan, yan ang is important topic na na banggit natin or important detail about online marketing as as compared to traditional marketing ng mga billboards, radio spot. Walang oras, walang araw ang digital uh, internet or online marketing because it is 24-7 ang internet, right? As long as nakabukas ang data mo, as long as merong internet, pwede kang, pwede nilang makita yung ad na nilabas mo, right? Pwede nilang mabasa yung pinost mo na ad sa yung Instagram or on your Facebook page. Digital advertising has risen in ranks over the years and has become as important as offline advertising for many companies, okay? Kasi it offers many benefits, di ba? Sinabi ko yung benefits ng digital advertising, yung unang-una yung pay-per-click, PPPPC, right? It works exactly as the name implies. Your company pays to have your ad displayed in search engines, mga SEO na in-optimized na, so, uh, di-display mo yung ad dyan sa mga search engine results or na social media site like Facebook nga. Yan na nga yung sinasabi ko na exposure, right? May mga nag i na ads. And you can only pay when a potential customer clicks it. See? So, hindi masyadong magastos kasi magbabayad ka lang pag kinlik nila yung or linike nila yung pinost mo or yung pinost mong ad, right? And of course, there's social media advertising, right? Running ad campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn all offer opportunity to reach potential customers on a wider scale. Sabi nga natin, eh, hindi, lang, hindi lang yung mga kabaryo mo or kabarangay mo ang tinatarget mo dito pag nag-online marketing ka. It's the world. Because like, I, ulit-ulit ko sinasabi, the world is our oyster for negosyo nowadays because you're not only selling to your kapit bahay, to your or to your to your customer base or your network of friends of Facebook, you are marketing yourself, your products, goods and services to the world. Dahil nga yung kliente mo makuha, magiging wide ang network mo dito sa online marketing, and the expanse or the extent of your the reach of your online ads is more and more extensively more is more vast, the ba mas malaki ang market mo. Siyempre, mag-niche marketing ka rin para sa mga ibang bagay. Sabi nga, eh, pwede mong compartmentalize yung target audience mo. Pero, yun na nga, marami kang potential customers, right? What else? Advertising on Google and Amazon. These methods can help your message in front of prospective customers. Yun na nga, but, nagpapa-add na rin ngayon sila, di ba? Ah, matagal na kasi doon sila kumikita right to be on their platform all right so major differences between the two advertising and non-traditional uh traditional advertising and non-traditional uh actually when you think about it there's not much of a difference right between traditional marketing uh traditional advertising per se and online it's because you know you're pretty much using the same creative mind so Natitweak lang yan na mas interactive ang online marketing. Totoo naman, anong mas? Talagang siya lang yung effective na marketing kaysa aantayin mo pa, di ba, yung, yung results ng ad mo kasi hindi eh, mo alam kung ilan ang dumaan sa ad sa tinignan yung billboard mo. But with with digital marketing or digital uh, advert, like advert ads, di ba, interactive yung response, right? Pwede ka mag-call to action agad-agad. Because advertising is a one-way form of communication. Its aim is to persuade a potential customer. Okay? And of course, a lot of people spend a lot of money to do that. Right? Advertising is a... Uh, on the other hand, para, promotion involves offering a potential client an immediate incentive. Ayun yung sinabi ko na may mga token na regalo. Diba? Sponsorships. Right? So, yun. Ang ang diferensya. Tsaka two-way ang communication kasi nga interactive, right? Okay. 
Uh, on the other hand, promotion involves offering a potential client an immediate incentive, real-time or simultaneous reaction. It usually involves disseminating information about the company's products or brand. In other way, in other words, mga survey, right? Both of them have a place in any comprehensive marketing strategy. Okay, to ating mga magulang. However, knowing the difference between the two can help you understand the best way to use each. Okay. So, ito, inisip na natin, ano ang major differences ng traditional advertising to, to digital? Time frame. They operate on different time frames. Advertising is a long endeavor, while promotions tend to be short term. Okay? Yeah, major concern yan. Price. Okay? Ad campaigns tend to be more expensive, though. There are free sites that can help reduce the cost of campaign. Okay? So, again, I give it back to you if you want to look at it and look at how they're charging you, okay? Uh, you know, but that, that's why it's important. Uh, ad campaigns tend to be more expensive. Pero may, like I said, there mga free sites, like yung paggawa ng website, okay? Importante pa, results, okay? Nagkakadiferensya sa results. Bakit? The long-term versus the short-term difference between the two is also reflected in the typical time frame uh, for results within an advertising campaign, okay? You usually expect kasi to have to, to have the reactions or, or the, the feedback right away. But the, the, the difference between the two is also reflected in the typical time frame for results. Or for example, di ba? Ang advertising campaign, you usually expect to have to wait to see your efforts pay off. Kasi nga, papalakarin mo pa yung programa three months along the line. Saka mo pa lang i-figure out na ilan ang bumili dito dahil sa ad natin ilan walk-in dito na customer ang nakita ko sa press con, right? It's hard to second guess. But of course, not to rag on that, that's how we've been living all these years, relying on that kind of PR and promotion, di ba? Pero ngayon, okay, in this modern day era, siguro naman, we can honestly say, it's, uh, it's easier for us to track down our leads, it's easier for us to quantify and qualify the traffic that goes in and out of our websites or in our offices, okay? Advantages and disadvantages of both traditional online, uh, traditional marketing as, as, as opposed to online. Let's see what possibly could be a disadvantage, right? All right, it's important to note that both advertising and promotion have advantages and disadvantages. Totoo naman. Kasi, pareho silang mali sa ibang sitwasyon eh. Mahirap silang mag-agree. Okay? That's why it's important to note na both advertising and pro advert uh, advert advertising tsaka promo ay merong ano, disadvantages. Okay? Okay, advertising is particularly beneficial when you are looking to build your brand. Okay? Truth be told. It also helps increase broad customer awareness of your company and the products, okay? By its very nature, ang advertising ay emotional. Talaga naman eh. It pries on, or it delves on people's emotions. Tingnan niyo yung mga Jollibee commercial pag Mother Day. Kakaiyak, di ba? Or even Father's Day, meron yan coming up. It's, they, they, um, what do you call this? Their call to action to you is how much emotion you're feeling towards this advertisement na linabas nila, right? Actually, perfume, di ba? Para, para yan sa'yo, na para ka naiinganyo niyan ng mabangong pabango, kung mabango yung mga words mo. And then how you you accomplish uh, effective communication through content that is very interesting, right? Okay? So, uh, this can drive attention and interest to your product or service, which can help you convert them into an actual buyer, right? One of the major downsides nga kasi is yung one way. Ang traditional uh, advertising, one way lang. This is where promotion can step in to fill the gap because it allows you to interact with your audience. Tapos, ang size ng kumpanya nyo can also dictate the strategies that makes the most sense for you. Siyempre naman, i-adjust mo yan kung ilang kayo sa bahay, right? It's possible to carry out an advertising campaign on a smaller budget, pero kind of risky, okay? 
para sa mga mas maliliit na kompanya, in particular, yung lower cost, di ba? And more immediate results offered by promotion are great draws, di ba? So, meron ba kayong mga katanungan? Or yes, please continue. Keep Just keep texting me, keep messaging me, and keep emailing me so that I can answer or address some of your questions, okay? All right. So, going back to the difference between advert advertising and promotions, of course, in a nutshell, we gave a little bit of an overview kasi mahaba-haba yun, right? So, uh, sa ating pinag-usapan, right? They are, para mo makuha ang target audience mo, you need to look at the fa these following things, alright? Una-una, your customer database your, or your customer base. Your competition also, check them out. You have to be mindful. Tingnan mo kung paano nila ang strat nila, right? Your product and service, a demographic, of, of course, to target age, location, gender, income, education, marital, family status, occupation, and ethnic background. Tsaka yung psychographics ng target audience mo, importante. Ano yung psychographics? The things that deal with personality, attitudes, values, interests, hobbies, lifestyle, and behavior, alright? So, importante rin yan. Okay, by looking at these things that I just mentioned, you're able to paint a detailed picture of how your product or service will fit sa buhay-buhay ng mga customer mo at saka potential customer. Okay, so ano pa yung sinabi ko? Nagbigay ako ng mga reason kung bakit internet marketing ay importante. Diba? Kasi nga, with the growth of technology, it's very important ang effective marketing and effective communication, right? Okay? At bakit internet? Bakit online? Kasi nga, unang-una, your customers are online. Di ba binanggit ko? Uh, 4.2 billion people. Ay, dumaan ang aking asawa. Mag-hi ka na nga. Muna, weekend na. Can you please say hello? Come here, come here. At mag malapit na tayo mag-goodbye. Alright? Ay, ayan. Si Jenny Lakab. Yes. Very good. I'm talking about internet marketing. Thank you, thank you. Ayan, si Tita Agnes nanonood. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, ang importa, uh, importante ang internet marketing, right? Because your customers are online. Internet marketing is so important because your customers are online. Diba? Isipin niyo yung 4.2 billion people na nasa internet. It's a great opportunity for you to reach leads that are looking for your business. There are billions of people online, di ba? Na nag-aantay lang na mabasa ang tungkol sa company nyo. Or nag-aantay lang na malaman tungkol sa inyo, sa company nyo, sa product nyo, or sa, serv sa servisyo nyo. People use the internet to find all types of information. Tandaan nyo yan, okay? They are constantly nagko-conduct ng search. May mga addict na nga sa pagre-research, sa pag-google eh, ba? To find relevant information about businesses. Ako, ang pagmumuntay task ko talaga, trabaho, tas in between that, research, in between. Eh, talagang ganun. Na, yan ang internet, right? We use it for our advantage, to our advantage, to do, for good, right? Considering that over 4.2 billion people are on the internet, di ba? What greater opportunity do you have than to, to reach this 4.2 billion people, right? It's a great opportunity for you to read, uh, to have leads that are looking, that are looking for your, your business or your uh, expertise or your products and services. Kaya nga, gamitin nyo na internet para dyan, right? Even if you operate locally, okay, ang, on, ang audience mo pa rin is online pa rin, right? As a marketer, you want to reach potential, potential customers saan sila nakatira, where they live, where they work, saan sila nagsashopping, paano sila nagsashopping, anong gusto nilang ishopping, get information, and seek entertainment. Totoo yan. Entertainment is part of this. Because na-entertain sila sa mga pinapunod nila, kagaya kaya nga nag, sumikat yung mga nagbablog, di ba? kasi ho ng kibasura ng mga topics or mga scandal or whatever, eh, Pinoy yan, okay? At saka yung mga, hindi lang Pinoy, na, na, naumpisa na yan sa mga Kardashian eh, mga people who wanna delve into other people's lives. 
People want to know what other people are eating. People want to know paano sila nagsha-shopping, paano natutulog. Just ko kung ano-ano na lang na vlog, right? Which, ako, which reminds me, I will have, I, we will launch our channel soon ng aking uh, hubby, which is, you know, the JNJ channel because uh, we'll show our life, okay, kung, kung paano ang transition ko rin from the city life to the barrio life to be with him but that, that's another thing altogether and that's we will be using internet marketing also for that right so even if you operate locally your audience is online that's why organizations kagaya ng sa healthcare sector like hospitals orthopedic surgeons they also use internet marketing talaga naman hindi ba pati yung akadim ang educational system ang government ginagamit din nila internet marketing Intermarketing, internet marketing is valuable for any business because it helps you connect with leads that are most interested in your business. It creates a two-way communication, right? With traditional advertising, the, communi the communication is one way. So, but ay mo pa ng two-way kasi agad-agad yung potential client mo, alam na alam mo na, pag kinlik nila yung ad mo or pag nag-send or nag Message sila sa, send, sa, sa messenger because nakita nila yung ad mo sa Facebook. Interactive na yung instantaneous kaagad yung lead mo kasi alam mo na kaya nila kinlik, kaya sila nagpunta or nag-message sa'yo sa messenger is because interesado sila, right? So, you wait and hope that your audience kasi will see your ad. Pag, 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 ano eh, traditional ad, uh, marketing. So what ha happens if your audience has questions or concerns? Let's say nakabasa na ng, ng ad mo sa diaryo or nakita na yung billboard mo. Paano kung meron silang tanong? Bago sila makasagot, ano, mag-email sila muna or tatawag sila rin sa, sa diaryo para malaman number nyo or what? Or of course, nakalagay na yun sa, sa ad pero ang liit-liit naman ng number para makita. What if they want to learn more about your business right now? About your product, about your service? Masasagot mo ba yan with one-way communication? No. It's hard. It's a hard task to complete when you don't have a two-way conversation, which is what internet marketing can provide. Okay? The, the two-way communication and to be interactive. The importance of internet marketing lies in the ability to create two-way communication, right? You provide your clients a way to contact your business uh, instantaneously. Uh, Almost real time, di ba? Kasi yung mga, although may mga chatbots, may mga totoong tao dyan sa mga na, na, nagpadala ka ng message, kunyari nakakita ka na, uy, ang sarap yata ng, ng kumain sa restaurant na yan. Ano ba menu nyo? Par, meron ka makakausap, may mga templated messages, pero may totoong tao rin da, na na-assign dyan, right? Dyan nga, kaya nga nagkaroon ng maraming trabaho ng mga social media manager or sumasagot ng social media all these things, and this is through internet marketing, okay? You can reach customers through di several digital marketing channels, okay? This will help you build relationships with your audience. So, so in a nutshell, yan ang, 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 ang importance ng online marketing. With online marketing, effective marketing, you expose your business to thousands, to millions of people, okay? The internet is constantly marketing your business for you. Isipin nyo na lang yan, alright? People can access your website or your social media site 24-7. Therefore, your business is visible 24-7. So with that, I want to end this segment on effective marketing communication, specifically also online marketing. Sana po nakatulong ako, sana po nakapagbigay tayo ng mga kaalaman tungkol sa field na ito ay tungkol sa issue na ito at uh, so that it will be useful for us sa ating mga negosyo. Thank you very much for joining me. Happy weekend everyone. It's a, it's Friday and it's a, it feels like rain here in Pampanga. Dumidilim, nagiging kulimlim. Pero maraming maraming salamat sa pagpanood niyo at pagtangkilik ng aming mga programa at lahat po ng programa namin po from 7 o'clock in the morning hanggang 12 o'clock ng gabi, Monday to Sunday. Ako naman po ay Monday to Friday lang. Pero kinakita tayo po ulit sa Monday. Thank you so much. Faith, hope, and love. I love you all. Have a good day po. Thank you. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.